a very good morning to all the student of class 5 dear student today we will study the seventh chapter of social science named as the land of ice and snow dear student we will study this chapter from the book our land our world which is a book of social science so dear student let's move ahead to understand this chapter so dear student very first you should know what are the learning objectives of this chapter what you will learn in this chapter so dear student and as i am sharing my screen with you this is the these are the learning objectives of the chapter so in this chapter we will learn about reasons of the land of ice and snow we will learn about location we will learn about land surface we will learn about climate vegetation animal life life of the people in the region of land of ice and snow occupation and recent changes so these are the learning objective of the chapter let's understand the chapter very first as i am highlighting it beyond the temperate region towards the pole lies the cold or frost zone there are two cold region number 1 arctic region number 2 antarctic region so there are two types of cold region number 1 arctic region number 2 antarctic region so very first we will understand about arctic region so it consists of the arctic arctic ocean thousand of iceland including greenland and the northern parts of the continent of europe asia and north america arctic region is again divided into two parts number 1 polar region number 2 tundra region dear student in the polar region the ice never melts in the whole year the ice never melts so it is very frigid zone it is very cold zone in the tundra region it is covered with ice in winter but there is no snow or ice in short of summer short summer so dear student here we take an as an example for the study of polar region and tundra region together at this primary level dear student as i am also highlighting you this picture so dear student this is the region of arctic and antarctic circle these are the region this is the pictorial part of arctic circle circle this is the pictorial part of antarctic circle so dear student let's understand polar region and life of tundra region so very first we will understand the location so dear student as i am again highlighting it greenland lies to the north east of canada it extends from 60 degree north to 80 degree north latitude it is closer to the north pole than any other land it northern most point is only 650 km from the north pole greenland lies in the arctic ocean dear student atlantic ocean lies to the south of greenland it is the biggest iceland of the what which iceland a uh, uh, atlantic ocean lies to the south of greenland which is the biggest iceland of the world it is about 2680 km long and 1280 km wide let's understand second learning objective of the chapter that is land and surface let's understand 
So the land surface of the Greenland is mountainous. The Iceland called Greenland, but nothing is green here. So जो Iceland है उसे हम क्या कहते हैं? Greenland कहते हैं, लेकिन यहाँ पर कुछ भी green नहीं होता. The whole land looks white with ice. The whole land है, वो कैसा होता है? White दिखता है. क्यों दिखता है? Because of ice. वहाँ पर इतनी ice होती है कि उसकी वजह से वो पूरा white दिखता है. Except for the narrow coastal strips, about nine tenths of the Greenland is covered with thick ice and snow all through the year. This covering of ice is called ice cap. Which which uh, which is called ice cap? In the whole year, Greenland is covered with thick ice and snow all through the year. Moti ice hoti hai, pure Greenland mein, pure saal hoti hai, aur ye jo covering ice hoti hai, isse hum ice cap kehte hain. In some places, the covering of ice is much as much as much as three kilometers thick. Kuch area mein three kilometer tak thick ice hoti hai. The weight of the ice cap is so great that a large mass of ice begins to move slowly down the mountain slopes. These slow moving ice masses are called rivers. So, jo ice melt hoti hai, ice ke masses melt hoti hai, wo kya hoti hai? Rivers, uh, rivers of ice hoti hai. Ice ki nadia, barak ki nadia kehte hai unhe, ya phir kya kehte hai unhe? Glaciers kehte hai. Kya hoti hai glaciers? The weight of the ice cap is so great that a large mass of ice begins to move slowly down the mountain slope. The mountain ki dhalan hoti hai, uske through niche aate hai. These slow moving ice masses, ye jo move, dhere dhere niche ko move karte hai, wo masses jo ice ke bricks hoti hai, unhe hum kya kehte hai? Ice, river of ice. Ice ki nadia ya phir glaciers kehte hai. When they reach near the sea, जब वो नदी की समुद्र के किनारे पहुंचते हैं, huge pieces of ice break with a roar and roar and fall into the sea. So this is all about land surface. Let's understand ahead. So these huge pieces of ice floating in the sea and looking like stills are called ice bridge. So, dear student, so these huge pieces of ice floating in the sea and looking like stills are called ice bird. So, dear student, this is very important that, is, that you should know what is ice bird. So, huge pieces of ice which is floating sea and looking like sails are called iceberg. So, dear student, let's move ahead. Only one tenth of iceberg is above sea water. Icebergs are seen as much as 300 meter above sea water and 27 meter, 2700 uh, meter below water. These icebergs are dangerous to ship because they are much bigger below the water than they appear on the surface. Dear student, they gradually decrease in size by sun, warmer water, current waves and rains. Dear student, as you all know, tourists came to Jakobshan to see these icebergs. So, dear student, as I am uh, removing it, so let's move ahead to understand climate. Dear student, the climate in the green several severally poor. It never rains there. There are only two types of season, as you can see in my screen, in winter and summer. It is always night time during the winter, but it is not totally dark. 
it is gloomy or dusky light because the sun always remain at the horizon you can even read a book in it to so, yahan ka climate kaisa hota hai bahut zyada dark nahi hota hai kaisa hota hai gloomy or dusky light hota hai itni light hoti hai ki aap koi kitab pad sakte hain the winter are long and cheery chilly winds blow at a speed of over 160 km per hour जो हवाएं होती है वो किस स्पीड में ब्लो करती है 160 किलोमीटर पर आर सो डियर स्टूडेंट कैसा रहता है बाकी आगे का क्लाइमेट इन द समर एज आई एम हाईलाइटिंग इट इन द समर देयर इज कॉन्टिन्यूस डे लाइट फॉर टू और थ्री मंथ द सन इज ऑलवेज एब द होरिजन द सन शाइन इवन एट मिड राइट नाइट सो this part of the earth is called the land of midnight sun is area ko kya kehte hain is part ko kya kehte hain because yahan par midnight mein bhi sun shine karta hai is the is part ko land of the midnight sun bola jata hai despite the sunlight the temperature rarely rises above the freezing point in summer the coastal area is free from ice and snow dear student this is all about climate let's understand vegetation what is vegetation here so dear student the climate is to cold for plants to survive however some low growing and scattered plants are found here some herbs come up in the summer and die out in the winter brightly colored flower are to be found even in the farthest north during the week of summer the southwest coastal region of the greenland is in the tundra region during the short summer a number of small plants spring and spring up and flourish these plant include grasses wild flowers small shrubs bushes on which sweet berries grows flowerless plants are lichen are very common here all these plant are an important source of food for arctic animals so ye jo plants hote hain ye jo flowers hote hain ye arctic region ke jo animals hote hain unke liye खाने का एक सोर्स होते हैं सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द वेजिटेशन ऑफ आर्किटेक्ट रीजन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द नेक्स्ट लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस चैप्टर व्हिच इज एनिमल लाइफ सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट सो लेट्स डिस्कस एनिमल लाइफ डियर स्टूडेंट the animal life of this region is rich while the plant life is not so much the main land animals are caribbean musk ox or ox polar bear reindeer dog beaver fox and wolf so these animals are live in polar region and arctic region these animals are protected against the cold by a thick fur and a heavy layer of fat under the skin so the color of arctic hair changes with the season it is brown in the summer and white in the winter thus it keeps its color looking like the environment dear student musk ox has a long shaggy coat almost touching the ground most important of these animal is reindeer so let's move ahead it is kind of deer with several horns the coastal area of the greenland provide a home to million of birds arctic tern tern makes its nest in the northern part of greenland with the on set of winter it flies 1700 km right across to the regions close to the south pole 
Every summer, millions of ducks, geese, and badger come here to nest and feed. The sea is rich of seals, walrus, and whales. Dear student, let's understand the next learning objective of the chapter, which is life of the people. What kind of life they are dealing here? So the population of Greenland is very small. About fifty thousand people live in the whole Greenland. Most of them live in the southern part of the Iceland along the coast. The native people of Greenland are called Eskimos. The word Eskimo means raw meat eater. What is the meaning of Eskimo? Eskimo means raw meat eater. They are short and short with straight black hair, narrow black eyes, and brown skin. Dear student, Eskimos get their food and clothing mainly from seal. Seal lives under water but comes up to breathe and get hunted. Dear student. Let's move ahead and understand life of the people. So, Eskimo makes make their clothes from the skin and fur of animals. They wear trousers and jackets and long lost boots. Their jackets or coats have hoods to cover their head. उनके जो coat होते हैं, उनके जो jackets होते हैं, उनके पीछे जो है cap बना रहता है. उसको क्या बोलते हैं? Hoods बोलते हैं. There are bigger hoods attached to women's jackets. This protect their young babies while they are at work. This jacket with hood is called a parka. Eskimos make their house from shorn. Dear student, shorn is the top layer of soil consisting of stony earth and roots. These are known as shorn house. Where there is no stones, the Eskimo build domed steps house out of hard packed block of ice. So, dear student, this is all about life of the people. Let's understand occupation. Let's understand occupations. So, dear student, Eskimos depend on animals of their tools, cloth, shoes. Boats, fuels, and foods. Therefore, fishing and hunting are main occupation here. Yeah, hey, our main occupation, fishing or hunting. Their main hunting weapon is called harpoon. What is harpoon? Their hunting weapon. Hunting weapon is called harpoon. Harpoon is a spear with a long rope of leather attached to it. The spear has a sharp tip made of Stone or animal bone. A hunter can throw a harpoon across a distance and use the rope to pull back the hunted animal. Dear student, they hunt polar bears and bear on land of their meat and fur. So, let's understand more about occupation. So, Eskimos hunt. Sea animals such as seals, whales, cod, and fish called salmon with their weapon, which is called harpoon. They cut a round hole in the ice on the top of frozen river or the edge of the sea. When a seal or other animals come up for air, the Eskimo attack it with his harpoon. Eskimos use Sleds for bringing their big hunt. Sleds for wheelless cars, which are drawn either by reindeer or dogs. The sleds are used for carrying other goods and children also. The student Eskimos made small boats of seal skin stretched over a boat frame. These are called kayaks. These are called Kayaks. They use them for hunting sea animals. Dear student, this is very important, which you should know. So let's move ahead to know more about recent changes. 
So let's understand. In 1953, Greenland became a part of European country of Denmark. The government of Denmark helped Greenlanders to improve their ways of life. The Denmark government has helped Greenlanders' ki life to improve their ways of life. Help here. Greenland achieved self government in 1979. Now, Greenland has all modern facilities of life. Now, there are large towns. They have shops, schools, hospitals, and clubs. In the biggest town with a population of over 11,000 people, a student, Gotha. The capital of Greenland. What is the capital of Greenland? God Tha is a modern center of trade. Air services connect mean many towns of Greenland with the cities of Europe and North America. So let's move ahead to understand more recent changes. So move ahead. Big ships. It brings goods of all kinds from other lands. Lips of uh, uh, Eskimos have changed. Many of them live in wooden but modern houses. They have rifles for hunting, motor boats for fishing. Pehle, wo kaise, uh, hunting karte the? Pehle wo harpoon ke through karte the, jo ek tool tha hunt, uh, fishing ke liye. Ab wo kaise karte hai? Ab unke paas modern hunting ke liye, modern rifles hai aur motor boat hai fishing ke liye. They even export things, fish and fur. They are also learning new trades. Kaise nai wo tariqo ko seek rahe hai? Kaise apne new trade ko develop kare hai? Some of them, them work in large oil companies and in the construction of roads. The port town So, the port of town of, as I am again highlighting it, the port town of Holstienburg has a large shipyard for ship building. Now, Eskimos like to earn their living by other work rather than hunting. So, dear student, this is all about chapter 7. Dear student, we will study the 8th chapter of social science in our next class. Dear student, thank you.